Hello, I'm making Zhao, and here's my classmate Katie Yong Li. Our topic is Sichuan earthquake. The Wenzhuan Sichuan earthquake occurred in southwest region of China. The earthquake devastated the area, affecting almost 19 million people, leaving 70,000 dead, and many more homeless. Described as the deadliest earthquake in 13 years, it caused $86 million worth of damage. This map shows the magnitude of individual earthquake around the world. As you can see, in the south west of China, earthquake follows a pattern. Most are within the range of 6.0 to 8.0 on the Richter scale. The Sichuan earthquake measured 7.9 on Richter scale. The earthquake struck at 2.28 p.m. on May 12, 2008. The head epicenter was near the city of Dujiang Yan, 18 kilometers northwest of Chengdu. The high center was 19 kilometers below the surface, which is a shallow earthquake, so it caused a lot of damage. The magnitude was 7.9 on meter scale, and the maximum intensity is 11. It was last for two minutes. From this slide, we can see that the down left part indicates the severe intensity along the floor, which is a Roman sun fault. The stress on the Tibetan plateau was caused by the movement occurring south in the Indian plains. The collision date back at least 15 million years. It caused the formation of high mountains. It also caused the widespread seismic activity all over Central Asia. The area of dense circles between India and Asia covers a wide region that is undergoing large strain and deformation. This is where shows the motion on the north is striking reverse flow or a trust flow on the northwestern margin of Sichuan Basin. The earthquake was caused by the Longman Sun Fall. This is a trust flow. A trust floor is a kind of reverse floor, which runs along the base of Loman Sun Mountain. This floor is 249 kilometers long. The floor was created by the stress produced by the northward moving Indian Australian plate. This movement shifted a portion of the Tibetan plateau eastward. Started when the Indian Australian and Eurasian plates along the 155 mile long Long Mansion Fault collided, thus, created a thrust fault in which the stresses produced by the northward moving Indian Australian plate shifted a portion of the plateau of Tibet eastward, according to Britannica. And a thrust fault is a kind of reverse fault. Hazard type. The hazards for this earthquake included shaking induced infrastructure damages such as buildings and bridges and weak slopes. According to China Geological Survey, they had identified 4,970 potentially risky sites, 1,701 land sites, 1,844 rock avalanches, 515 debris flows, and 1,093 unstable slopes. Rock avalanches and landslides destroyed transportation routes, which caused a delay in rescue. Aftershocks. After this deadly earthquake, numerous aftershocks came in after. There were 28,000 recorded aftershocks after September 8th, following the earthquake. For example, in May 2010, an earthquake with magnitude of 5.0 struck Chengdu. The Long Mansion Fault runs southwest to northeast along the eastern side of Long Men Mountains and separates the plateau of Tibet from the flat Sichuan Basin. And these are the sources that we have used. Thank you.